Um, in this video, we're going to look at hypothesis testing for population mean. Um, look at central limit theorem if we're a little bit confused on what this population mean is. So here's the question. Over the years, a market gardener found that the mean yield from his tomato plants was 1.83 kgs per plant, with a standard deviation of 0 0.35 per plant. One year, he planted 600 of a new variety, and the yield was 1.87 per plant. At the 5% confidence, sorry, 5% level of significance, which basically is the 95 confidence interval, test whether the mean yield from the new plants is different from the normal variety. So we want to check if the new plants have a different mean. Um, this is the first method I'm going to use, and it's the confidence interval method. Um, first of all, in both methods we'll state our null hypothesis, and we'll just say the mean of new variety is 1.83 kg and then the alternate hypothesis is the mean of the new variety is not 1.83 kg so in this method we set up our um, confidence interval okay, so the real mean lies somewhere between the mean that we have okay, from our test um, plus standard deviation over root n. Okay, so the standard error. So basically, on this side, our mean plus 1.96, the standard error. And then on this side, our mean minus 1.96 times the standard error. Okay. And we would have been using this in the confidence interval already. Right, so here we go. The real mean lies somewhere between well, our mean, which is um, 1.87. Okay, when I say our mean, okay, I mean the, the mean of these new tomatoes. Plus 1.96 by the standard deviation, which is 0 0.35 all over the root of the sample. And the same at this side then, 1.87 minus 1.96 by standard deviation all over root of the sample size. So just a bit of algebra here, we have plus, and we'll multiply that out, um, 0 0.028. And then on this side, 1.87 minus 0 0.028. So the real mean lies between 1.842 and 1.898. So there's our confidence interval. And now what we ask ourselves is, does our mean, which is this, lie we, sorry, not that, does the real mean, which is this, the 1.83, does that lie within this confidence interval? Okay? And the answer is no. So we'll say we reject H0. So basically what we're saying from that is these new tomatoes um, have a different mean. Right? So um, they're probably a better tomato, they're giving back more kgs per our um, plant. Our next method then is our z-score method. Same again though, put in our h0 and h1, okay, and they're the same as they are up there, the mean of the new variety. So I'm not going to write it again, but here is our h0 and h1. So we'll be writing that again for this method. All right. Next what we do is we calculate, oops, we calculate a z-score. Right? So calculate the z-score, so here is how we calculate a z-score from our mean population. Okay, so it's similar enough to the z-scores um, that we will calculate it for a population proportion. And we've done this already. So basically, it's the same z-score except we have our mean standard error down at the bottom. So calculate that z-score. So z equals, well, 
our mean, which is, and when I say our mean, the mean of the new tomatoes, which is uh, 1.87. The mean of the old tomatoes then, 1.83, all over standard deviation, and that's all over 600. That then will give us 2.797. And all we have to check, right, here's our critical value. All we have to check is, does that value lie between 1.96 plus and 1, actually I probably shouldn't write it like that. Does it lie between 1.96 six minus and plus one point nine six. Okay. So that is definitely outside this range of one point nine six plus and minus. Okay. So we can say project now hypothesis. Okay. If that was something like one point five two, well then that would lie within minus 1.96 and 1.96 and therefore we could accept it. Likewise up here, if this 1.83 um, was say 1.5, or sorry 1.85, well then it would lie within this confidence interval so we could accept the null hypothesis. Okay. So two methods of doing it. Um, this method is Slightly more precise, okay? But you can use whichever you want. Right, thanks.